So we need we have this um, space curve here, and we're supposed to parameterize and graph the osculating circle. So this remember the osculating circle osculate means to to kiss. So this is the kissing circle. Um, so it's the circle that has the same radius of convergence. Now for this curve, we've already calculated a few things. We know that the unit tangent for this curve is cos t minus sine t zero. Um, you can see this curve, although it's a space curve, the z-coordinate is constant, right? So, um, <clears throat> so it's basically in a plane parallel to the x-y plane, just up there at the level z equals three. So the tangent um, lies in a plane parallel to the x-y plane, and so does the normal. So we've got our tangent and our normal. We also calculated that kappa is equal to cos t. So in this case, then, um, we've got our curve. So it's here in a plane parallel to the xy plane. And at time 0, we calculate that, um, that, the, that the curvature is the cosine of 0, which is 1. Now the radius of curvature rho is 1 over kappa. So the radius of curvature would be 1 over 1. The radius of curvature is 1. Now, where is the center of that osculating circle? Well, n points in the direction that we're turning, so n must point towards that center. And it has, we have to go as far as the radius of curvature, which is 1. So actually, the center of our circle, if we have our location, let's see, our location r at time 0 is our location is uh, 0, the cosine, oh, 0, 0, 3. Okay, so there's our location at time 0. What we need to do is to go from there um, a distance of 1 in the direction of the normal. So we need to take, um, to get our center, here's the point in our curve. And from that point, to get to the center of the oscillating circle, we have to go um, rho times the normal. So that's where we have to go to get to the center. So that's going to be 0, 0, 3. Rho is 1, so we just have the normal. And the normal at this time, let's see, the normal at time t equals 0. So if I want to evaluate that normal at time t equals 0. Let's see, the sine of 0, 0. The cosine is negative 1. And then we have 0. So we have to go 0, negative 1, 0. OK, so the center of our circle then is at 0, negative 1, 3. So I just, here's my point on the curve. I go a distance rho in the direction of the normal to get to the center of the circle. So we have a circle of radius 1, and this is its center. Now since this circle lies in a plane um, parallel to the xy plane, if you wanted to parameterize a circle Let's see, I'll just use S for that parameterization since we've already used R for our actual curve. If we wanted to parameterize a circle in the xy plane, we should, um, we could use cos and t and then sine t, but we need to, um, we need to uh, subtract our y coordinate. So we're going to use um, sine t plus 1 and, oh, let's see. No, we need to use minus 1, and then 3. OK, so basically I took the usual circle. Right? This would be this would be the parameterization of a circle in, in the xy plane. And then I add, added the coordinates of our center here. Well, that's going to take the parameterization of the circle and push it so that its center is here, but it will still be in a plane parallel to the xy plane. So there's our parameterization of the osculating circle. So let's graph those two together now. So going over to Maple here. Um, I've already got the plotting package loaded, but if it's not loaded, remember to load it. So with plots. Um, and now we can, our first plot can be the actual curve. And so that's the command to plot one of these is space curve. And to use space curve, you just give the, the parameterization for x, y, and z. 
and then give a range of times. And we had, um, we could do t equals minus pi thirds to pi thirds. Okay. So there's our original curve. And then we have our circle, our osculating circle. We decided the parameterization was um, cos and t and sine t minus 1 and 3. And we'll just display those two curves, to, those two curves together. Uh-oh. Better give them different names. Okay, p1 and p2. Um, and missing something here. Oh, I forgot to close my natural log. Oh, there we go. So we get our two curves. We have our, our osculating circle there, and we have... Um, oh, do you know what? I didn't plot very much of the osculating circle. For the osculating circle, we could actually go from um, minus pi to pi. I'm also going to maybe make these a little bit darker. So the one... I'll make the color red for the osculating circle, and I'll make the color black for the actual curve so we can tell the difference. Okay, so there's our osculating circle, the red one, and there's our, um, our actual curve, and we found now the, this, this circle is the one that just kisses, right? It has the same curvature as, and it lies in the osculating plane for our actual curve. Okay, now this one was kind of easy to do because the the osculating circle actually um, the the osculating plane was really parallel to the x y plane. It's a little bit trickier um, if if it's not parallel to one of the coordinate planes. You have to use a little transformation. It takes maybe just a little bit of understanding of linear algebra to figure out how to do that. But we won't go that deep. But I wanted to show you an example of finding that osculating circle. If we do one, it's going to be in that simple case where the osculating plane is, one, is parallel to one of the coordinate planes.